everyone, it's Kat and Harper here today, and as promised, I am going to start posting nutrition videos, things that are a little bit outside Hello. of my normal posting schedule, as you've seen, and I thought, what a better time to start my nutrition videos than as I'm feeding Harper. So, the first thing that I want to talk about is the importance of differentiating between a lifestyle and a diet. So for me, and I think a lot of people would agree, a lifestyle is what you do on a daily basis. It's not something that you've, you know, just started. It's not difficult. You know, it matches with your lifestyle. And a lifestyle is something that usually is easier to maintain. It's not something drastic. It's usually a little bit more of a holistic approach. A diet is something that you get on, you do, you force yourself to do. It's usually tends to be a little bit more restrictive. It's something that you only plan on maintaining for a short amount of time. And within those definitions, you can see the problems that come along when you start to talk about diets. So personally, whenever I'm working with any clients or whenever I'm talking with even friends and family, you think you're silly about nutrition. I don't really like the word diet. There are a lot of problems that can come along from diets. There are a lot of issues that can come along from diets. I prefer to talk about lifestyle, and you want to have a healthy, balanced lifestyle. Now, going into diets in general, so some of the common problems with diets. The first one, they're extremely calorie restricted. So you go from maybe eating 2,000 calories a day to, say, 1,200 calories a day. So you end up hungry, you end up upset, you end up not feeling your best. Another reason is that they're very restrictive of certain types of nutrients, whether it's carbs, proteins, fats, you really don't want to eliminate any of the nutrients from your diet. There's a balanced ratio to eat of them. There's a, a certain amount that's good for you and a certain amount that's going above and beyond. But you know, eating 40% of your diet in carbs is not a horrible thing. You can just choose better sources of carbs. Another common problem that I see, see with diets is that it forces people to completely change everything about the way that they're eating. So instead of just having them make small changes, it's asking them to make all the changes. Another problem is that it may restrict all of your favorite foods. So if you have a really big sweet tooth, it may restrict all sweets, all alcohol, things that really make, you know, socializing a lot more fun. So what are my few recommendations when you're approaching wanting to have a healthier diet, wanting to eat healthier foods, wanting to consume healthier products? The first thing, uh, recommendation that I have is to start small. If you set smaller goals for yourself, like replacing an unhealthy snack with a healthy snack, or cutting out all of the extra sugar in your coffee, or trying to eat earlier in the day, it really is easier to make one of those changes at once rather than trying to have your, kind of shocking your body by asking it to make a million changes. The other thing, no massive calorie uh, counting or crushing. So if you're eating a 2,000 calorie diet now, you don't want to just suddenly drop yourself down to 1,200. You're going to feel malnourished, you're going to feel sick, and there's also a certain amount of calories that your body needs to just continue going. And if you don't eat those amount of calories, not only are you losing body fat, you're also losing muscle. So you want to make sure that you're eating an appropriate amount of calories for you where you're still planning and getting those results that you want. Another thing, a healthy weight loss for a week that is manageable and maintainable is about a pound or two a week. You're not looking at five or six pounds a week. Why is this? If you have a calorie, if you cut 500 calories out of your day for a whole week, there's a pound. So you can see how hard it is to lose a pound. Okay. Another thing, another recommendation is to appreciate every one of the small changes that you make. Even if you don't see all of the results right away, if you lose a pound, if you feel like you have more energy, if you chose not to eat that donut at work, you really have to reward, whoa, you have to reward yourself for doing that. You have to tell yourself that you're proud of yourself, you're happy that you're making these changes, because if you don't reward your own goals, it's going to be much harder to maintain them going forward. My next recommendation, include exercise with your diet. So if you're not already exercising, exercise is a great way to have that extra surplus of calories that you've burned off, kind of like negative calories in the bank you can look at. So it's easier to have that calorie um, ratio where you consume less calories than you've burned off during the day. Another one of my recommendations is making replacements for specific cravings that you have. So if every night you eat ice cream, try to find something that's going to 
feel just as satisfying for you, something that you're not just taking everything away from yourself. If you take everything away from yourself, that's why people crash diet and yo-yo diet for such a long period of time. So for instance, I like having something sweet at night. So I've chose to have a little 80 calorie container of yogurt at night for myself. That's something that I know heeds off the cravings. It still feels like I'm treating myself and that's a normal way for me to handle those cravings. Some just general nutrition tips that don't involve diet or anything like that, that just involve ways to be healthier in general, are to try to eat earlier in the day. It's better to start off with breakfast. It really is better for your body to do that. When you're eating breakfast, um, make sure that you're consuming a good balance of proteins and carbs and things like that to keep you satiated. Um, try not to consume a lot of food late at night. Not that there is a myth out there that eating late at night makes you fat. That's not necessarily true, but it gives you, you much less time to burn off those calories before you go to bed. So if you want a midnight snack or a late night snack, try to make it a healthier, less caloric option. Um, another thing is portion size. So if you do decide that you want to have an un unhealthy thing or even a healthy thing, look at the portion that you're consuming. It really does make a difference. You know, a normal bowl of cereal, the portion size is a cup to a cup and a half. And you'd be surprised if you really looked at it what a cup and a half was. So start measuring your food, really learning what a normal portion is so that you can have that in your head when you're feeding yourself. The next thing, record for accountability. So there are a lot of apps out there right now that you can use to record what you've eaten throughout the day. A great one that I've used, oh my goodness, is the Fitness Pal Tracker. It allows you to record all of your workouts that you've done during a day, all of the food that you've consumed, so you can really look at your energy balance. Ah! Especially if you're confused what's going on. The last and biggest recommendation that I have for exercise, for basically everything in general, is that don't let one little mishap get you off track. Don't let eating one donut, having one thing that you're not supposed to have, don't let that really throw you for a loop. Try to remember that you're normal, you're human, you made a misstep, and then just move past it. That's all we can do. So this is my first nutrition video. This is just, whoa, general nutrition for you guys, me and Harper. And you know, I'm trying to pass it down to her too. So thank you guys so much. As always, this is Cat Strong Not Skinny, and I hope to talk to you guys soon about more nutrition, more lifestyle, more mindfulness topics, and of course, as always, with the workouts. So thank you guys. See you soon.